Hey guys. Um, today I'm going to do a foundation thing. Um, y'all know how I'm not really good at foundation, but we got a sample of. I just took it out of the box, guys. I had to see if it was my shade, you know. I it, it's the Betco Ultimate Coverage Complex Cream Foundation. I got a sample of it in the mail. And my mom don't use backup. So I thought I'd give it a try. And I actually did like the sample. And I am shade sand. Hold on. I'll see if y'all can see. Hold on. Sand. It's sand. You can't see it, but it's sand. Okay, so I'm going to try that out. It's going to be a normal makeup look, but using that. Uh, see, I already wet my beauty sponge because I can't call it a beauty blender because it's not a beauty blender. Okay. Grab that, but first... I'm going to do what I always do. I'm going to color correct myself. Because, well, I sure do need it. And uh, if y'all are wondering why my lips are so glossy this time, I learned to like putting this lip plumper by Buxom. It's really good. It's in the shade Gabby. It's really good. It don't burn, it tingles a little bit. And about it. Got a little sample of it when we were doing malls. We were going to malls a few weeks ago. I like putting this on my lips. I don't know why, I just do. And I'm going to let that dry out. And I don't want that to happen, so. Also, another thing we all like over here is the Clinique. This is stuff is really good. We already went through two bottles of this. So, yeah. Alright, on to color correcting. I'm going to use the Stila color corrector palette. Like I always do. And I just... And I go in that coat, that color. Which color is that? It is peach cream. And I just... I'm going to look over here. But, yeah. And I... And I just go under like that. And I keep going under this eye. A little more. if I'm quiet and I'm sorry if my voice is a little meh everywhere I don't know how to say that I don't know why I went meh but and then I color correct right here yeah blend it in so you don't look mad and I color correct my nose you're gonna hear mom crinkle a paper in the background. And such and such. Maybe I just keep doing this to all the red spots that you do not want shown. So, and then I'm going to put that in that little saw class right there. Put this over here. Okay, now for the fun part. Uh, 
I'm going to take my wet beauty sponge and the Becca. Ew. The Becca foundation. I'm going to put it on my hand. Are you ready? Two pumps is all I think I need. I don't know. Let me. Got great coverage. Whoa. Okay. What I did not know about this product is a little goes a very, very long way. Wow. And it really evens out your skin tone. Just a tad bit more on the under eye area. I'm just gonna blend that in the back of my hand a little. Now see, I don't always dab. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just wipe up. I'm just going to go over my eye area. Really not a bad foundation, honestly. Then I'm going to use this side to really get it in there. Okay, so this Becca foundation is really, it's really lightweight for a full coverage. If you know what I mean. It's like really lightweight for a full coverage, but we're going to see how it goes on for the day. And then I'm going to take my... I like the engines on my face like that and I once again just dab dab on the haters
Oh my god. There's a lot of dabbing. Whew. And then I'm gonna take the point still and go. Hello, my nose. I just keep making sure everything is evenly blended. Oh my god, I feel so much better. I'm gonna try out a new one. A new what is it called? What is this stuff called? Concealer. I'm gonna try a new one. I'm gonna do the shape type one. Maybe in the next video. Now see, my cousins, Beverly, Shasta, they like using lip plumpers. My, uh, my cousins like them for the shine. And my cousins have beautiful lips. Their lips are like full and stuff. I don't have lips at all. I don't know why. It's really how I was born. But you know. I believe in like the love your body the way God made you I just wish I had lips I guess I took after my dad on that one it's <sighs> a lot of blending with this foundation though so if y'all don't like, you know, the blend as much as me, this would not be the foundation for you. <sighs> Alright, time to set it. Is there a difference with this on... And off. Yes, there's. Um. I ran out of this. So I'm going to borrow my sister's. Cat Von D. See, I'm not a big fan of Kat Von D's powder. Oh, shit. It's just not so, you know. It's so drying under the eye. Uh, if it gets in your eye, ooh, you got hell to pay. Because this stuff burns.
and it's tan. So it don't like, you know, just color anything, but it's very dry. The Kat Von D is not for dry people, which I'm not saying I'm a dry person. I'm oily. It's just, well, I just don't like the feeling of it, but I gotta use it today. Look, it barely stays on the beauty blender. It's just awful. However, her lipsticks. The Stay All Day ones. The new glitter ones. Those are good. I mean, if you don't want them to stain you, I wouldn't use them. Because I tried them out on my Snapchat. I tried them. My sister loves purple. So she tried the purple one and I did the red one because I'm obsessed with red lipstick. And it dyed her mouth like a dead color. And it's just not good. But for those who love stained stuff, I want to taste. Is that my Alright, I'm going to take the brush, dust it off a taste, I look ashy if I keep a bake on for long, so oh, I, I dust it off. I mean, with my other one, it was so fine. It was a fine powder. It didn't really do anything. But this one is like, damn. I look white as hell, but trust me. It's not as bad as in person. Okay, this stuff sucks. Just like I remember. It goes everywhere. It's really is awful. I gotta fix it. Because without the light in real life, it looks awful. Alright, that's at least I can do. Do not use the Kat Von D. If y'all love Kat Von D, then go right ahead, darlings. It don't matter. I mean, some people's skin are not like mine. I'm going to use this damp side to see if I can, like, you know, get it down a little ashiness. Because this is not good. There you go. There. Not too bad anymore. It feels okay. It feels like everything that, you know, matches it. I'm going to try this. No, never mind. This, I do not like. 
Because, well, if y'all see, on my finger it looks like it does something. But look. And once you put it down, it does not move. And I can't get aggravated with that today. So I'm going to use the Clinique that I always use. And I contoured. Mm -hmm. To steal. Y'all should watch. There's a few makeup channels that we watch. A few of them I don't remember. But yeah. Double the ears. Bronzer's done. And uh, I've been obsessed with this tart. We got it as a sample. Um, let me see if it'll focus. And it has that on it. And so it's in feisty. It's really good. I don't like to add a bunch of it. Because I ain't a blush kind of gal. And there's that. And now for a highlighter, I use Becca. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. And that's the shine. That's what it looks like. I used it a lot. Sorry. Oh, there's the color brand. Opal and Becca and on and on and on. I use a fan brush to put it on. I don't know if y'all do, but I do. Because, well, I don't like high shine, but I don't like, you know, no shine. So I layer them.
<clears throat> I put this one first. So that one I use Ofra and Rodeo Drive. This one's stunning. Mm-hmm. Yes. That's the shine I need. Alright. And then I put that back from where I got it. Okay. Now for eyes. Your man, okay. And I just use one brush for it all. I know, but there's no booty police. I said booty police, but you know what I guys meant. You know what I meant, right? So I'm gonna take from the. Cinderella palette. There is like a bunch of shadows in my Z palette. That is the Cinderella palette. These four, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, those are Selena. And these are all from um, an adventure palette. From what brand, I do not remember, but it's cool, it's cool, they're good. I use them sometimes. And I just do a simple eye. That's it for mine. So, yeah, my eyes are very simple. <clears throat> but this brush, however, you've seen in a video, is gorgeous. As soon as my mom put it, pulled it out of the box, I stole it. It's mine. She didn't get a chance to see how pretty it is or anything like that. I find something I like, I get it. I don't mean to sound spoiled also. And then, that's pretty much it for eyeshadow. For eyeliner, I just use what I always use. Tom Ford. And I just It. I do it like that.
and there's a wing. This eye, however, is harder. By the way, Tinky's doing good. Our dog, Tinkerbell, she's doing good. She hasn't had a seizure in, I think, four to five days now. They got her on medicine. Uh, that's eyeliner. <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. That's eyeliner. What else do I gotta do? What else do I got to do? I gotta do eyelashes, and then I got to do my lips. I'm gonna do my lips first. What lip look am I gonna do? Am I gonna use one of these? Okay. I know what I'm gonna use now. Did I put it back in here? I just gotta fit this little thing. It's so tiny. But it helps. Alright. Before I ever do anything with my lips, I line. First I do Coop <laughs> First I do keep it though.
Alright, so now after I do that, milk nuts were about a huge. But I don't want you to leave. We hope we'll finish. Oh, won't you stay with me? Cause you are all I live. They say you're always glad to see. But I will stay with me. Now I gotta fix my mistakes. I was gonna sit that right there. I don't know why that I was. Then you take it and I'm not a pro at the blending after I fix my mistake. So Now I'm going to put that back with the purple lipstick again. Um. Fix my mistakes after fixing my mistakes. That's done. Time for mascara. I'm using the roller lash. This shiz is the bomb. I'm gonna look up because my eyes are hooded. But I freeze, you don't have a good
boom. And after that, we put that up. See? No stain. This is a no flex zone. They know better. They know better. And I take Kat Von D. Has a nice, nice look. It has a nice, nice look. And that's it. That's that for my foundation review. And get ready for me with the day and stuff. Okay, I'm leaving that on because that does me some justice. Alright, I'm gonna pick y'all up. <laughs> Alright, guys. So. This is the finished look. The foundation itself is really good. But, like, like I said when I was blending it out, it is a lot of blending to blend it out. Alright guys. You remember, you don't need makeup to look beautiful. Love y'all. Oh, by the way, there is a 200 subscriber giveaway a big giveaway and we're like give or take a little more than halfway over so keep subscribing if you're not subscribed yet, you get the judgy face all right guys love y'all